For a couple of days in November, students gathered at the Heinz Convention Center to contribute samples of their bacteria for an unusual science experiment, the translation of microorganisms into a hip-hop track. For me, one of the most exciting things about this project is this intersection between science and the arts. And nobody has really explored before this interface, specifically between music, but also hip hop, which is one of the genres that I personally really love, and the microbiome. David Kong is the director of a community biotechnology initiative at MIT. He's working on a project called Biota Beats. The goal is to translate bacterial data into hip hop. One of the most exciting areas of research, I think, right now is uh, looking into the human microbiome, which are the collection of microorganisms that live in this really beautiful harmony with us, the human host. David and his team collected bacteria from students who flew into Boston from all over the world to attend iGEM, a synthetic biology competition. The song that we want to create is called Universe, meaning one song. The process uh, through which we create music from the microbes, it basically involves first sampling microorganisms from the body. Each team will have their own plate, which represents the bacteria that come from the specific body part that we've outlined. Each plate you can almost think of as its own note. For the European teams, we're going to be sampling their mouth microbiome, their oral microbiome, and that will be the melody of the final composition. For the Asian teams, we're going to be sampling the ear, and that'll be the harmony. For the African teams, we're going to be sampling the hands, which will be the bass drum. For South America, we're going to sample the scalp, so that'll be the percussion. And then for the North American teams, we'll be sampling the nose, and so that will be the, the atmospherics of the final composition. The bacteria then grow over a period of uh, you know, a day or two, and then we have a camera that's imaging the bacteria and basically extracting data about those bacteria. And then we have algorithms that take all of that image data, extract the uh, characteristic data about the microbes, and then a series of algorithms that turns that data into MIDI files. You have generated music, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we need to generate music a tiny bit. We have our producer extraordinaire, Chuck Kim. Chucky takes the MIDI output, shapes it into a composition that is, is uh, musically pleasing. The song was unveiled during iGEM's closing ceremony. iGEM, what's up? How are y'all feeling this morning? You feeling good? Yeah? Okay, are you guys ready to get the beat? All right, here we go. It's an open question if this could be used actually for diagnostic purposes. Could you hear disease? Do pathogenic bacteria mixed with other healthy microbes sound a certain way? And these are really interesting research questions that I think could be a part of the future of this project as well. Thank you again for all of your contributions to uh, Up Your Microbiome. This is 